Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And today is Friday, the fifth week of Easter, May 20, 2022. And um, our gospel reading or reflection today will be taken from the gospel reading of John chapter 15 verses 12 to 17. So we will now listen to the gospel reading. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a, a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. Brethren, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. My commandment is, my commandment for you is to love one another. Today's reflection, brethren, is taken from, as I said, from the Gospel of John, verses, chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. And you know, St. John is known to be the apostle of love. And he is known for his teachings on kindness and compassion, which have earned him a reputation as a kind and compassionate apostle. St. John referred to Jesus' teachings on love as a simple message that has the potential to be incredibly thoughtful, reflective, and profound. And you know what? True love is a key part of complete contentment and triumph. And the message of Jesus about love seems relevant to us as we observe the state of the world today. This love message can help us overcome all the negative sentiments, judgments, and thoughts we see in the world today. So to appreciate more the command of Jesus, we need to understand first what love is all about. We use the word love a lot, you know, but its true meaning, it's not always clear to everyone. And for me, for me, love means a deep, tender feeling of affection for another person or persons. So when we love someone, we are concerned for their well-being and want to make sure they are happy and safe. And one way to show love to someone is to pray for their happiness comfort, and security. That's the message of Jesus sent to his disciples and the message he gave also to us today. We are commanded to love one another, to care for the good of others, to wish each other well. And as I say, these are very simple words, but they convey a very deep, heavy meaning. We must show our concern to others not by hyphenating words, but 
by real actions, okay? Extend our hands to those who are in need. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit those who are in jail. Pray for those who need most of our prayers and many others. All this would express our true love for God and others too. You know, brethren, Jesus teaches us to be kind and loving to one another. But that's not all. He showed it first to us by demonstrating it himself. In fact, he said that we should be Christ to others. We have to remember that part of being loving is to regard our neighbors as friends, not as slaves. Today, the word love is often used in a way that is not healthy and respectful. The love of Jesus commands us to have a powerful, self-sacrificing, and generous concern for the good of others. Not a warm, sentimental feeling, you know? Loving is easy when we don't need much effort and stay only at the level of feelings. So when love has a price, it is tested. Okay? Jesus determined the kind of love his disciples should show one another. And this love is strong and will last no matter what the cost. This is a new way of loving others that Jesus has specifically instructed us to do. Love one another as you love yourself. You know, the commandment of love is to have compassion for others and to do what is best for them, even if it means sacrificing. And this could lead to true peace in the world. Love and kindness will help us to dispel, okay, the unconstructiveness and violence that exist in our world today. Sharing love with others, you know, will help them see the benefits of love in their lives. And some people, okay, may find it difficult to have a significant impact on the world, of on the world. But love is a powerful force that can have a significant impact on the lives of others. And in order to learn from the example of Jesus Christ, who gave his life for us, we should always think about what it means to give up one's life for someone else. We see the same thing in the lives of saints who were very loving and had a great impact on others because of the love they had for others. So if we all showed love to each other today, we would have a powerful impact on the world around us. Knowing more about Jesus' teachings on love will help to reduce violence and peace will prevail in the world. Brethren, love is infinite and indeterminate. It's not a matter of when or how many examples we give. It is up to the other to make the decision. And that is why Jesus gave his ultimate act of self-sacrifice for others. What a beautiful love story. God did that for us. As he said, he regards us as a friend and not as a slave. Now, we can say, we can say for sure that doing the same thing over and over again would not be a good idea. We may not be asked to do something that is far beyond what he has done, but we need to do our best to match him in our efforts, okay? And so I say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Once again, brethren, this is Father Chris Mendoza of Mary's Little Children Community. 
humbly saying to you all, let us serve the Lord with joy and gladness all the days of our life. Thank you for listening and please, again, I would say subscribe and share my videos with your friends, okay? With your friends and hope to see you soon in my next video. Okay, so stay tuned and God bless us all. And we will meet again, okay, tomorrow. See you then. God bless you. Thank you.